This time I got uh, some fan mail from England. Oh. Uh, and it's from snobby snobby scrap picker. And I think it's stickers. I think he's sending me some stickers. Oh. Uh, I feel kinda awkward. getting this stuff, you know. <laughs> I still ain't got over my coffee. My fresh, there we go. There we go. Look at all them stamps on there. England. And, oh crap. I thought he was sending me stickers. He sent, he sent me. <laughs> Five dollar bill, a United States of America five dollar bill from England. Well, I guess they can get them over there. Five bucks. <laughs> okay. Oh, and there he did send me some stickers. Sent me these. Sent me some stickers. And <laughs> I feel awkward getting money like this. Sent me stickers. And gosh, there's one, two, three, there's six stickers on there. I hope that's showing up. Um, I gotta put my glasses on to read them. And I had them upside down. Snobby Scrap Picker YouTube. I've got to get busy with my Matter of fact, I'm going to start me a poster board with all the stickers I've been getting. I ain't got many. I think I got three. Well, four if I want to count mine. And... <laughs> I know what he's referring to. Oh, Lord. I know what he's referring to there. <laughs> He said, hi, you junk dauber. Here's your stickers. Thank you for your support. Snobby. <laughs> and then over here, <laughs> on the right-hand side, he's got... <laughs> if any of y'all been watching my video, you know what he's talking about. He said, have a finger snack on me. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Snobby, I had one, I had a finger snack yesterday, but it wasn't on you, but I'll, um, <laughs> okay, you guys are funny, <laughs> and it's got his address there, so I, when I get my stickers made, I can send him one of mine, oh, uh, you know, this money thing, uh, gosh, money's hard to come by for me. Um, I'm thinking about I'm thinking about uh, well, starting a set aside a fund or account or something for me to put this money in and put it towards uh, become it's, it's become obvious to me that my scooter's not going to do the trick you know and and, and the battery's starting to run down more often now than because I'm traveling more out with it and stuff uh, and I was thinking if I had a golf cart I could go further and I could haul more stuff 
thought I could get me using, but I ain't got two nickels. Well, I got some nickels to rub together if I want to count this money. I got 20 the other day from uh, uh, one subscriber, and then I got 10. And they wanted to remain totally anonymous, and that's, they didn't even want me to open it on YouTube. So that's what I did. I respected that. And then I got this five, so that's thirty-five dollars. I still got the twenty and the ten. Um, and I got this from Snobby. I may just start me a little fun and see if I can get up enough money to uh, get me a, a used golf cart. And golf carts are very plentiful around here and you see them for sale all the time and some of them's quite a bargain. Lots of golf carts around here in Central Florida. Um, I may just do that and I'll keep a running tally of what the uh, what the what the talent what 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 the total is uh, I don't know why I keep looking at this file I, <laughs> I swear God I, I really don't feel deserving of this but she wish I Oh. <laughs> but you know thanks and I'll be gosh almighty I'm so glad I think you sent me stickers one time before and they never got here oh <laughs> matter of fact <laughs> I got to go to when or not when Dixie when Dixie closed up around here I got to go back to Publix today I may I may get me some more of that finger food and have have one on Snobby on the way back. <laughs> Ay right, Lord, I believe I will. Snobby, I'll make you a I'm gonna make a video just for you. And I'm gonna stop on the way back and have some finger food on Snobby. <laughs> How would that be? <laughs> Have a finger snack on me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> ah, swear. I'm starting to like my friends, you know. I don't want this to go to my head because it seems like I've got about somewhere between 100 and 110 what I call loyal subscribers that actually watches my videos and stuff and I've got 557 subscribers but of course most of them they may watch occasionally but but I average about a hundred to a hundred and ten uh, views on a video I actually had a couple of videos that went over 150 but it I've also noticed that you know uh, you can have I noticed one uh, youtuber he's got about 3500 uh, subscribers and he's only averaging about 50 or 60 views per video that's not good I mean I get I'm I'm averaging over a hundred views per video and I've only got 557 subscribers and he's got 3500 so his he I don't understand that. I mean, he's been doing it for a while. But he's he's a good guy. Uh, 
I watch him. I always watch him. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm talking. I'm talking about uh, uh, boy. Ever since he changed that name, I can't remember to say my name. But, uh, I'm talking. It used to be Scrap Kingdom. Now it's Scrap Life 24/7. And he works hard, and I don't know if I'll mention this, but I've been questioning him on some stuff why he didn't do certain things, and he don't pick up on a lot of things that, that I would pick up almost immediately. He was walking around out there in his little junkyard <clears throat> the other day, and he went by this uh, vintage kitchen table. It's, it's metal, and it's it's white with red designed and trim around the edges. And I, I've seen it right away. It's a vintage table, and I see them priced all the time for around seventy-five or eighty dollars. And I told him about it. He said, maybe I'll take it inside. And I, yes, he did. I said, yeah, I ought to put it on Craigslist. Well, he can't figure out Craigslist or something. Turns out him and his younger daughter are slightly autistic. Uh, I don't know if that has anything to do with it or not. I know he works hard. Uh, and it seemed like a challenge all the time for him. Um, uh, but I didn't know till the day he, t he told me, said my daughter, my youngest daughter and I are slightly autistic. Uh, and I know some of the problems that come from being like that. My grandson, the one that has cerebral palsy, uh, he's also slightly autistic. And he's on disability though. He, you know, there's degrees of how serious something like that can be, and I'm assuming that uh, that Marty's is is mild, uh, but my grandson's is beyond mild because he he he's physically able to work, but he's not mentally able to to function like he should function. I mean, he don't do nothing wrong. He just uh, he just processes stuff different. And if there's problems with that, but he's on dis he'll be on disability the rest of his life. But Marty, I like the guy. He finally, you know, he 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 had two, he had about 2,000, 2,500 subscribers, and was never monetized. And I guess his oldest daughter figured that out how to get get monetized and finally got him monetized. So he's monetized now. And that's another thing. These some of these channels that gives me shout outs. I know I wouldn't have half the subscribers that I've got if it wasn't for the shout outs that I've got from people like Chris and Holly Show. Uh, Scrap and Pallet Man, uh, I think Curbside Scrappers, and there's, there's, there's several of them that give me shout outs. And uh, Lord, I appreciate it. But uh, I got to get moving. I'm going to go over to Publix and I'm going to get me, I'm going to get me some finger food. We're snobby. <laughs> I, you know, I, I've got several uh, UK uh, I got several UK subscribers and the two that comes most to mind is, is snobby and uh, oh boy same, you're my UK scrapper. And then I got this one kid, Canadian, and it's called Cashing and Scrapping. No, it's called Scrapping Cash. All right, there, all right, Scrapping Cash. 
<laughs> he's the one. He's the one sent me that coffee plaque. And he's just a kid, you know. Like he might be in his twenty. Anybody in twenties is a kid to me. And he works on these cars, just getting them ready to run to put in this derby thing. Uh, I forget what to call it here, but it's where they put a bunch of cars in the ring together and they start running into each other till there's one man standing. So I, I can't wait to see him doing one of them. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm gonna start me a, start me a fun. As a matter of fact, my next video, not this one, but the next one, I'm going to uh, start keeping a total up about what I'm getting if somebody else. Thank you, ma'am. You have a good day. You too, you too sir. You better behave yourself. I'm trying. I hate it when somebody comes by me that knows me and then I draw a blank. I know that lady. She must know me, she told me to behave. Uh -huh. I'll tell you what, that's rain clouds almost directly overhead. Jeez, I hope I ain't gonna get caught. All right, I got to go and pick up my prescription. I hadn't noticed, but that little package store that was there, and they gone about a month ago. They ship packages and stuff and pack packages for you. He tried to sell that business for two years and nobody bought it. And uh, now there was a fingernail place down here. No, it was a beauty salon. And that going to be ain't gone. They must have just left the last few days. And Bell's Outlet, they're gone. Of course, they're fixing tire most of this place down they're gonna rebuild a whole big new one of a lot bigger store
Go ahead. No, you can't. You got me go for pork. Thank you, ma'am. How you doing, dear? That me? Uh, Pearson. Any charge on it? No charge. All right, I'm gonna have to get up. Have a good day, sir. Thank you, sir. Have a good one. How you doing? GoPro stop recording. Well, I got caught. It's raining. Maybe it'll blow over. Which way is that going? I was fixing to go over here at my little honey hole and have some finger food on snobby.
You got a car here, I don't. I gotta drive this sucker home. bit off more than I could chew this time. I got I got to ride this thing home. I ain't got my I didn't come in the car. Huh? It don't hurt it. Well, this is waterproof. I don't know about this. Call it, dear. and pallet, man. Got a load of pallets on there. Okay, quick, 
I can't figure out what this thing's doing. GoPro, stop recording. All right, Snobby, I'm getting, I got caught in the rain. And, <laughs> finger food. I ain't gonna carry too long, huh? Oh, boy, what's going on with that, Snobby? There it is. Do you like this kind of stuff, Snobby? Boys, I do. Even though I know that a lot of this is fake imitation crab. Made from fish. Boy, I love this stuff. Anyway. I'm having a finger food snack on Snobby. You know, you'd think one time I'd bring me a spoon or fork or something to keep in this sun. It's getting that time of year here in Central Florida. You can expect showers about every afternoon. Just about a given. Hmm, mm mm. I have got to seriously go on the diet. I hear thunder. I need to lose about 80 pounds. Oh dear. I'm gonna have to get out of here. Yep. I gotta get out of here. I gotta hide my camera. GoPro stopped recording. You know that uh, refrigerator was sitting here yesterday. Well, it's still here. And I will get the cord off that this time. I will get the cord. Got my little finger food down there I was having with Snobby. Put that there. You know what? Somebody's got that tied up in that. Pull it through that way. 
Wish I could get some of that copper, but I can't. Yeah, mine and Snobby's little finger food snack got interrupted. I sprayed it on what the heck is that? No, ain't what I thought it was. That looked like a dang maggot. But I ain't been in no garbage today. Okay. Let's head to the house. Oh, I do get some serious rain here. Normally I wouldn't worry about the camera getting wet, but the little door that goes to the uh, the porch and stuff on it, I took off and I didn't put it back on, so it's not totally waterproof. Normally you can go into about 30 feet of water with it and it's waterproof. To do what I do, I really need two cameras, two GoPros. And I was looking on eBay and there's an outfit on there that's selling refurbished uh, GoPros. But I'm a little confused. I don't even know if my GoPro is a Hero 7, a Hero 6 or 5, I don't know. I'm thinking it's a Hero 7, I, and I don't know how to go about finding out. And those on eBay are fives and sixes, I think. So I don't know if I need to be getting something different than what I've got. There's another egret, a black one. That might be the same one I seen yesterday. Them things, you don't see them black ones very often. He might fall. Boy, they sure eat the bugs in your yard. Yeah, tomorrow is trash day. And I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna get up and hit it at seven o'clock. Oh boy. Yeah, I better get my butt to the house here. I don't like to be out in thunder and light. I don't mind watching it and hearing it, but I don't like to be out here in it. Somebody told, told, told me this Florida's the lightning capital of the world. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't have a clue. Oh. Get over here. Get my stuff. Oh, I don't need to be right up on that. Now, lay that there. Oh, Lord have mercy. GoPro turn off. I mean, GoPro stop recording. I, I, somebody told me I ought to do a, 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 a tip jar. Well, YouTube won't let you put a tip jar up there until you've got a thousand subscribers and some kind of pardon. I'm pardoned or verified. I don't know if that's what it's talking about or not. But I can't have a tip jar. And uh, so it is what it is, you know. I have to do what YouTube says, and I got to keep this in my pocket. My, I guess this is supposed to be an expensive nice. I, I don't know. I don't know. I this come curbside. It was still in the box, and it's kind of like a. It's kind of like a switchblade, but you got to get it down here on this bottom and pull it open like that, and it pops open. So that's a switchblade. Well, a switchblade, I think you push a button and it pops open. You don't have to go through all that 
uh, rigmarole to get it open. Now, you know, like if I could push a button, flip open, that's a switch blade, but this is not. You have to work at it to get it open. But I have to keep that in my pocket. 